Hello, in this video we will see two examples of how to use the notation object. One created from a static block and another created from a dynamic block using a grasshopper definition. The notation object is matched by the annotation styles dialog that we can open doing right click on that annotation symbol. And they can be a 2D symbol, a text, a dynamic 2D geometry or a combination of 2D elements. So when we create a new style, we select this new button and we have two options, one to create a notation style from a block or another, the grasshopper style that uses a grasshopper definition. So first we will select the first one. This style uses a 2D block that we can pick from here. So this dialog shows a list of the existing blocks in the model or we can import one from uh, our PC. So let's generate a new block first in the model and later on we will assign it to that style. In this case, we have here some lines and we'll create a block out of this symbol for a downlight. Okay, so we run the block command. We select the base point and give it the name, for example, downlight. Click OK. Now, once the block has been created, we go back to the styles dialog, doing right click, and for that new style we can assign already this to the symbol. Okay, we can rename this and give it a proper styles name. Now, let's create a new style from a grasshopper definition. So first of all, we open grasshopper and we take a look at a definition that generates an elevation mark. Okay, that is defined by a reference point and some params that define well the shape of the of the symbol, the to the symbol, or the position of the text, the sex, text size, or the decimal position. Okay. If we take a look at the output params, we have on one hand a geometry param that collects all the 2D uh, elements of the definition. We have a hatch pattern that collects the hatches in the definition and a text param for the uh, for the text in that in the definition. All these params are required by Visual Arc when creating the new style in order that each one becomes into a different component or part of the notation style. The name given to that uh, param will be used to identify them when we generate the uh, annotation style. Okay? The geometry hatch and text params can be found here under the uh, params geometry. And the components to generate new hatches or new text can be found under the visual arts tab under the generics group. Create hatch or create text. Now we save the definition, we close grasshopper and we open the annotation styles dialog. We create a new style, select grasshopper style, and we need to follow the steps of this of this wizard. So first of all, we will select the definition we have just saved, open, click next. Here we define the style's name, the definition units, and here we select a reference point in the definition to be used to be taken into account for the calculation of the elevation data when we insert the annotation in the model. We select the point. Otherwise, if that insert point was set to known, then the text of the annotation object will be static no matter where we place the elevation mark. Click next. Here we can see the different parts that we had in the definition. We can select whether import them or not. We click next and here we have the list of parameters stored in the definition. Each one can be assigned by style, by definition or by object. So for example, the decimal precision is something that we want to edit by object, individually. The x and y offset is something that will be defined by a style, as well as the symbol diameter. But the text size is something that we want also to edit by object, individually. We click Finish, click OK, and now we have the two new annotation styles available in the model. So we click at the annotation 
symbol, annotation command, we select the style we want to insert. Here we can insert a downlight, a couple of them, or we can insert an elevation mark that will take into account the elevation of the insert point. Now, if we need to change any of the parameters of this elevation mark, that is a dynamic object, we go to the properties panel, select annotation object, and here we can change any of the values that we left editable by object.